Hello everybody, welcome to another epic adventure and welcome to another episode in my California adventure. Today, I am going to drive from Monterey, essentially down to, I believe it's uh, Cambria or Morro Bay. I'm going to drive the uh, Pacific Coast Highway, but I think they call it the Big Sur Highway. Uh, it's about 90 miles, so that'd be about 100 and 120 kilometers or so. But it's just full of, of scenic views. It's full of state parks with great hikes. And I hope today uh, I'm going to go do a couple of hikes along my way. I won't be able to do any long hikes, but at least a, uh, something to get out there and, and get away from the, the highway a bit. Now behind me is the famous Bixby Bridge. And it is the Golden Gate of the Big Sur area. It is very iconic. Many people come here and take photos. As you can probably see down on the road, they pull off and uh, it appears in many TV commercials and in TV uh, uh, episodes. I think the latest one was uh, Little Lies or Big Little Lies or something like that. And before they built the bridge, they had to take the side road. Let me show you this. So this is a, a, about 11 miles, so about 15, 16 kilometers. And you see how it winds up and down the uh, hills there. And in, in uh, 1932, they officially opened up the bridge. So today we're going to cruise down. I'm actually gonna head down into Pismo Beach because tomorrow I have a pretty epic adventure. So I uh, hope the weather holds up. I'm gonna, we're gonna go do a couple of hikes and check out the scenery. It's just gonna be uh, amazing all the way down the road. So if you're ready, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I just arrived at uh, Big Sur, or at least the beginning of Big Sur, and um, it's a pretty cool little place. Have a little general store, and then they have the River Inn. I was just talking to a gentleman who's from this area, and he says this is just the beginning of the town. It kind of just stretches along. Pretty nice, pretty nice little place. There's the barbecue right there. I don't see if there's any empty chairs down there. We got a little. So what's unique about this place is you used to be able to go over to the River Inn restaurant and they would pack a lunch for you and you could bring it down here to the water and enjoy it. However, they don't do that any long, anymore. So, but he says you can take the barbecue to go. So. That would have been kind of fun to try out. But um, I think now I'm just going to I'll head back up and see what they have for the barbecue. Okay, so we'll just walk over here. Uh, it's too bad I can't get a chair in the water there. I would have hung out here and had a little lunch. But it's okay. We'll check this out and then we'll hit the road.
Talu. Only the finest will do. Hey, my food has arrived. Right, let's take a look at that. Wow. I got myself a chicken sandwich and he kind of made a little special salad for me with the garbanzo beans and blue cheese and some greens down below. And I got a little vegetable over there. Got myself a bottle of sparkling water and have myself an awesome view. So, all right, it's time for me to chow and then I will get back on the road. Okay, so I arrived at my first hike on my journey towards uh, Pismo Beach. And this is uh, Partington Cove. And um, I just talked to a gentleman. He kind of gave me some ideas on where to go. I think it's under two miles, so for under 4K. Um, it looks like it's pretty steep down. And you know, obviously you go down, you gotta come back up. But he said it's very nice, um, there's a beach and rocks and the waves are crashing on rocks and stuff so and it's just a perfect day so uh let's take a break from driving and let's go do this Wow, just amazing. Somebody was telling me that possibly like some history about smugglers and so forth like that. I'm not sure about that. Wow. Very easy hike down, but I gotta go back up a little bit. And if I would gone right, I'd be over, over the next cove. Oh wow. It is so beautiful. So great. Clouds are starting to come in a little bit, but it's still a nice day. A couple guys up there having a drink, enjoying a nice hike. Okay, so a ride uh, at McWay Falls, we have about 1.8 miles to do, maybe a little over two mile, 2K. Uh, go over and, and check the waterfall. It's supposed to be pretty cool. It's supposed to be very unique. This waterfall dumps off onto the beach. Uh, unfortunately, you can only uh, walk to the overlook. You can't get any closer, but uh, we'll do, your best, do my best to see what I can do bring to you. So, all right, let's get going.
So I arrived to the viewing area for McWay Falls, but it uh, looks like part of it's closed, but it's still a pretty decent view. Beautiful day. Supposedly it's a 250 foot drop. All right, I guess we'll uh, head back to the vehicle and continue our travels.
Okay, so we made it in Pismo Beach, had an epic drive down the coast. Uh, we were able to at least visit two of the state parks and we saw McWay Falls, which was, I always, I've wanted to see that ever since I did my research on this trip. And we walked, uh, we did a hike to uh, Parting Partington Cove, which was pretty nice. I, I like the bridge and the tunnels, kind of a, a nice twist to it. There are many, many other great hikes along that route. And there are several other state parks, but unfortunately for time, I just couldn't, couldn't get to them. But we did uh, have lunch with the restaurant with the, the awesome views. Of course, it was a little bit pricey, but it was still worth it, one time thing. So tonight I'm gonna kick it, and tomorrow I have an epic, <laughs> epic adventure. Uh, I'll be heading over to the uh, Oceano, Oceano Sand Dunes, and uh, you'll have to wait and see. But on that note, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, pound that like button. It'd be awesome if you subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments down below. Until next time, everybody stay safe. Live now. Woohoo!